Hey guys, Craig Summers here again. Uh, this is kind of a, the uh, second part of a uh, video uh, I've done previously on my journey with uh, concealed carrying, how I went from carrying as normal people do at the four or five o'clock uh, to how I carry now my like, lot 19. Uh, so uh, I wanted to uh, do a, a review on the uh, NSR Tactical. That is the Appendix EDC Combo Holster. I want to pre present a different uh, kind of a viewpoint than uh, what a lot of people have have done in the past. They they talked about you know how how well it's made, kind of the stuff that um, uh, the stuff that Dave does to his gear that's different than everybody else. Uh, the retention, the snaps. Uh, I think that's been covered, but I want to talk about kind of the design of it, how it fits. Um, I think there was some real thought into uh, into this holster, and so I really, really wanted to go over it and talk about just kind of how it fits uh, and how it carries on the body. So I don't. Uh, the first video that y'all seen that kind of goes a little bit more in depth, uh, kind of a different viewpoint uh, than what has been done before. So uh, I'm gonna get a little bit more close up uh, to my uh, to my gun and kind of go over uh, kind of how it sits. Uh, how it sits when I carry. Alrighty guys, so uh, this is how it normally looks when I carry my, uh, my my NSR holster and my gun with my Glock 19 and that's what it looks like uncovered. Um, so how I typically carry that is uh, SOE, um, SOE belt with the Cobra buckles and um, there was some real good thought behind how, I don't know if he got with John Willis on how to design this, uh, but um, there's some real thought into kind of how this, uh, how the holster works with the belt and lines up. So I will undo that real quick. So we've got the two belt straps and how I, uh, how I mount it is uh, with the SOE belt, uh, it overlaps a little bit. So I put uh, that underneath part under my belt, under this uh, loop right here. I will snap that because it doesn't really do a good job of um, uh, it's not long enough or uh, it doesn't have enough room to uh, to snap over if I were to double up that belt. So I snap that first, come over, clasp it, and then uh, snap it over here on the side. So this sits right at, uh, right at my waistline. Uh, so there's my, my belly button. It kind of gives you a good idea of, of where it sits. Um, it kind of, if you think, I really don't have any abs or good abs right now, but if y'all think of kind of how the uh, human anatomy is with your abs, there's kind of like that V uh, for dudes that are uh, have do have abs. Uh, they've got that V that kind of goes down here. And um, the holster, let me take it off again, the holster does a really good job of kind of riding, uh, riding in that V. Uh, so that makes it really, really comfortable. Um, so let me go ahead and put it back. So it rides in that V. It sits just high enough to where if I need to go to the bathroom, uh, especially number one, I can unzip. I don't have to move anything. I can unzip and use the fly of uh, fly of my underwear and go to the bathroom without any any issues. So it sits. It's uh, it sits just high enough to where that's not an issue. Uh, when I sit down. Um, I don't really have to worry about it riding up and then kind of uh, kind of tilting over. Uh, like I said, they've done a really, really good job of uh, making, um, they've put these, uh, I guess these struts on here and getting it high enough uh, to where when the belt does go on there, uh, it provides enough support high enough to when, when you do sit down that gun uh, and the holster does not want to want to move forward. Uh, so there's some really, really cool designs. Uh, I believe these do struts also allow you to uh, tuck your shirt in if you want to, uh, but I, I never do. So um, I also, um, the width of it, like I talked about it going into the V, the width of it is just perfect. I think Dave did a really, really good job of trying to get it as narrow as possible uh, to uh, allow uh, that magazine and the gun to fit as closely, uh, closely as they can, uh, without getting too wide and getting uncomfortable. So I, it does not rub the inner part of 
uh, of my legs, uh, kind of in my groin area. It does not do that at all. And uh, it just does a really good job of, of, of fitting in, uh, fitting in that V uh, right below, like I said, right below the belly button. Um, so um, the, uh, like I said, there's a lot of, a lot of thought that goes into this. Uh, the only thing is sometimes I will wear a, an Aegis uh, uh, belt with a little bit wider belt buckle and um, I can't get both of these straps, just kind of how the, the belt's designed, I can't get both of these straps uh, to, to really, really work. It's, it's tough to explain, so when I do that, uh, Dave's got another uh, appendix holster that I carry that just kind of has one strap, so I'll do that. But uh, guys, I kind of wanted to show you how this holster fits, um, especially how, you know, if it rides high enough, if you need to use the uh, bathroom number one, uh, it fits low enough to where it's really not covering much of your stomach. Um, and uh, he's, got, he's got the belt loops high enough to where it does not want to tilt, uh, tilt when I sit down. So uh, there's a lot of thought process that went into this, uh, and especially this holster with uh, the uh, SOE tactical belt. Uh, this is how I carry 95% of the time. If I'm going out uh, with my wife, with my kids, um, this is what I have. Uh, and it's great. It's, it's got the magazine right with it, uh, spare mag, uh, and spare gun, and uh, the mag. Uh, it's lined up properly to where I want to pull it, uh, pull that spare mag if I need to. Uh, I can index it. Uh, so uh, to me, that's, that's how I reload. Uh, I index my mags. Uh, when I reload, I don't don't do the beer can style. Uh, I have taken a uh, uh, James Jagers or Tactical Responses Fighting Pistol. I took it for the second time uh, with this holster, and uh, it worked. Uh, it, it was great. I think it just reaffirmed, uh, especially with uh, you know fighting from the back or uh, whatnot. It just reaffirmed that uh, the appendix is uh, to me the best way to conceal. So. Um, that's kind of the uh, close-up overview uh, of, of this uh, this holster. So guys, that's uh, that's hopefully a, a different perspective of uh, the NSR Appendix EDC holster that I'm hoping uh, you haven't seen before and might, might help you with your decisions on uh, on an appendix carry holster. Uh, I firmly believe this is the, the best one on the market. I love it. Keeps my gun and my spare magazine right together very very comfortable and like I said it I uh, think they really really put some thought behind it so uh, I'll put a link to uh, their website below uh, if you guys have any questions comments put them down uh, I'll do my best to answer them as best as possible and uh, I'm, I'm hoping this answers some questions that y'all have uh, guys if you like the videos go ahead and click, sub click subscribe um, and uh, we'll see you later